propagation delay time. Propagation delay time is measured whenever there is a transition on the output of a flip flop. And it is measured between the 50% level of the clock to the 50% level of the output transition. So for example, if this flip flop is positive edge triggered flip flop, so then we will consider positive edge of the clock. And at the 50% point on the triggering edge to the 50% transition on the output. And this delay is called the propagation delay. Now one very obvious question can come to anyone's mind and usually propagation delay is measured when an input is applied until the time we get the output. But in this case we are not taking the propagation delay from the D input to the Q output. But we are considering clock input to the Q output. Why? Because for example if you apply D input at here at this point of time in the clock region it will not be propagated to Q till there is no positive edge on this clock. So the actual D is transmitted to Q whenever there is a positive edge on the clock. Or in other words we can say at every positive edge of the clock this D is transmitted to Q. So we cannot specify a fixed value that D will be transmitted to Q in this much time. But with reference to passage of this clock, we can say that D will be transmitted to Q in this much time. And that is the reason why we take propagation delay from clock to Q and not from D to Q. I hope that it would have answered your question. Friends, there is another propagation delay time associated with every flip-flop. As you know, there are two asynchronous inputs associated with every flip-flop called clear and preset. Their impact on the output does not depend upon the clock signal, so they are called asynchronous inputs. So this another propagation delay time is the time required for an asynchronous input to cause a change in the output. For example, in this case, I have taken this preset signal and this is Q output. Again, it is measured from 50% levels. So that means it is a time when preset is at the 50% point till Q get transitioned to the 50%. And this much time is called the propagation delay time for an asynchronous. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content your support means a lot to us.